the GDST EdTech and Innovation Coaching Program. Beginning in the 22-23 academic year, we split the school digital leader community into three distinct groups. The first is EdTech leaders focus on vision and strategy for the effective use of technology in our schools. Many established digital leaders transitioned into the EdTech leaders community. It's recommended that members are on or have connection to JLT SLT teams. The second community is EdTech and innovation coaches, responsible for the training and coaching of teachers. This is often a teacher who has shown promise or skill in the area of technology. It's someone who supports teachers in building confidence around using technology for teaching and learning. And finally, our computing teachers as a subject, primarily ICT in the junior school and computer science in the senior school. These are three distinct roles in schools within the realm of educational technology. And whilst one person may be responsible for two of these areas within a school, it's not really feasible or advisable that you have one person responsible for all three of these roles. Now, if we look to the GDST EdTech strategy, your EdTech leader is responsible for this top line of the strategy. So determining a vision for technology, selecting pupil and staff devices, selecting a learning platform, working with IT to ensure appropriate infrastructures in place, and working with safeguarding leads on e-safety. This role takes at least a half a day a week. Whereas your EdTech and innovation coach is responsible for the bottom line of the EdTech strategy. So that includes teacher CPD, student scope and sequence of technology skills, and enrichment opportunities or pupil events. So this role also takes about a half day a week. These two roles work collaboratively with the school leadership team, teachers, and the IT department to deliver whole school innovation projects. For the past three years, we have tried to fill the void of school level ed tech coaches from the trust level through the rollout of EdTech 25 online sessions, helping to coordinate whole staff and departmental inset days around EdTech, and running certification bootcamp sessions for Microsoft, Apple, and Google. However, this was only a temporary solution. As technology continues to have a significant role in our schools, such expertise must be from a person embedded in the unique school culture. Various bodies of research reveal that the most impactful and sustainable route forward is to employ school-level instructional technology coaches, the merging of pedagogy and technology through a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder coaching approach. Consider a coach to support your EdTech leader in making strategic decisions around teaching and learning and technology. Consider a coach in the trenches with teachers testing new ideas and tools in the classroom, then informally sharing what has and hasn't worked with others in the staff room. Consider a coach to help find ways to decrease teacher workload. Consider a coach to co-teach with reluctant teachers. Consider a coach to translate IT jargon into teacher talk and vice versa. Consider a coach to listen to the frustrations of teachers when they feel overwhelmed. And importantly, consider a coach to collect all of the incredible examples of classroom innovation from across your school. A coach is not a new idea in education. Consider it a sort of modern day equivalent of an advanced skills teacher. 21st century schools require a school ed tech leader as well as an ed tech coach or coaches on the ground continuously experimenting and curating examples of how pedagogy is and should evolve in response to digital innovation. So over the last two years, we have been developing a bespoke ed tech and innovation coaching program for the GDST context. It runs as a four-part learning series in GDST Learn. Attendees join a community of coaches from across the trust and work with a small group of teachers to inspire a movement in reimagining the role of teachers in the wake of emerging technologies. Session one covers ideas around innovation, introduces a five-step coaching cycle, and provides activities to help identify and prioritize teacher issues around technology and innovation. Session two gives opportunity to 
practice coaching conversations and compare and contrast different impactful technology frameworks from around the world. Session three introduces coaches to evidence-based technology integration models such as SAMR and provides opportunities to refine intervention strategies they've been using with teachers. Session four is an opportunity to come together at Trust Office to share spotlight stories of the teachers they've been coaching, highlighting the great work being done in school. Feedback thus far is that the program has been helpful in upskilling keen teachers to support school ed tech leaders. However, these coaches require formal time allotments and appropriate pay. So we think a possible route forward is to revive the school consultant teacher program in the area of edtech and innovation. The role of school consultant teacher originated in GDST schools as part of a broader package of changes in career structure, grading, salary, and progression arrangements agreed with NEU in 2015. For teachers already on the professional level two scale, it offers an alternative career progression not involving management responsibilities. You can see a graphic here. We recommend appointing an SCT in the area of edtech and innovation coach in junior and senior schools to help formalize this important role to better support and celebrate our teachers. For more information regarding the program, contact facilitators Chris Turple or Fee Kempton. For more information regarding the whole school strategic planning, contact Alexandra Reed. And for information regarding the SCT program, contact Kathy Walter.